are here we are basically machine learning then supervised learning then whether with tumor classification medical experts. then uh, my question is that this is the our model okay this is the model uh, we will go for loss function because error is generally for the regression analysis a loss function we have to suitable the loss function and we have to tweak our like somebody use the adam optimizer and other loss function and uh, loss function is an optimization method so that we can publish our result the more we basically we need more data like very good our Prodicto team uh, Prodicto team has done in uh, the covid analysis from lung cancer and actually iit jodhpur also developed a application but then they have not come up with android app and all these things and they have started they have started got it in two five two five zero zero images and we have done only two eight images so i have asked to predict those team to go for more images so that we can compare our result and uh, these things uh, i want these things to let uh, our pravin kumar and both expert uh, just a minute I am extremely sorry. Actually, we are thinking about the how we get it a better loss function, better optimization, and more data so that we can quickly go for paper publication in the next two months. And another is you know, develop a web app, Android app, and iOS app, cross functional app together. So, this is one of my questions. Is Pravin can answer this is uh, error we are not discussing. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, cross entropy method and what are the different methods my question is this one yes Just my question is this various gradient uh, stochastic gradient which one yeah this is my question that is one is batch gradient most of our students will have had a batch gradient but it is always it is newborn child but whenever it will be developed an android app then you should have a stochastic gradient so that it always life and, and another other option a mini batch so i would request uh, suggest Pravin kumar and uh, devujiti so that we are basically here but actually whenever the our pack our android app package so we think of that we have an, an app and that will be available for doctors so we focus that we are all basically helping doctors not in giving to the general public then it will be difficult and it will not get the doctor certificate so we have to satisfy doctors first and then uh, which kind of gradient so here and another uh, debate will be today's debate will be yeah right now i stop the presentation just a minute uh, today's debate will be that we, uh, we have our devuchitita and Praveen both have export in web app but our existing group right now they are not that export in web app so the web app is a separate thing and android app is a separate Thing, but one good point, what I have discussed today evening with Devajyoti and Devajyoti and Praveen, that if you go for Flutter, that we can do all these things together. But one problem with the one good point of Flutter is with the Google technology. Uh, but it is difficult, steep way to learn. So if you go for Android Studio, with Java is the easiest. Then Kotlin is similar like Java. It is also easy, but we have to take one path that is Flutter will give you all cross application first of all is for google all cross application google is highly promoting and web app also so we don't have to go a different web app so that is one good point but one problem and we want to choose google's uh, all technology we are tensorflow to fortunately good thing nisha probably nisha and Prodicto. Prodicto has taken tensorflow to pro uh, programming language i have they were they were, they were also used tensorflow I use PyTorch and TensorFlow. Both, I think, uh, if we uh, we have uh, province for programs and all these that are uh, PyTorch based, but okay. But we right now good point is one all our students right now doing TensorFlow too. Uh, the uh, I think the Oriya team are working with the Keras. The quickly upgrade to 
TensorFlow 2 so that get it from Google and yeah. and another is uh, Angular you, you chooses as a front end because there are competitors uh, like uh, React is very powerful and it is from Facebook but right now Facebook's positions and all this is better to go for one company like Google, but Pravinda has suggested that is Zamari. Yeah, our first app which owns the our hackathon, Rithik for is there. What I have not invited Rithik for today, but I will definitely invite Rithik for very uh, in the coming week. So Rithik has worked with Zamari, uh, uh, Ramari. I think I think uh, my, my pronunciation. I just uh, correct. Pravin will correct me. So right now I will put the senior. I I will go for senior most way. So Pravin, can you uh, light what are the discussion today? So you can present little bit one or two PPTs, the Bujuti also, then uh, then the then they will come up with questions, Oriyatri, Shia, Pradipto, and they will come up with the questions. Thank you, you can present. Yeah. Yes. Are you, uh, yeah. Am I audible? Yeah. 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 Uh, hi, sir. Hi, everyone else. Fine. Fine. Um, First of all, congratulations yeah. for your very good results at SAP Labs and very good. So I am very proud of both of you. Uh, and yes, carry on. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, so I won't present my screen because I have some technical challenges there. Uh, but I'll Great. go on with the discussion. Uh, I guess it will be enough. But again, if you have any questions, any anyone can pitch in and stop me anywhere. And uh, going back to the discussion we had about the uh, application, uh, the cross-platform application. Uh, before I proceed, can anyone confirm if I'm audible? Yeah, you. You have to yeah, yeah. audible. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so first, I'll correct myself. Um, evening, I mentioned we used uh, Xamarin. Uh, actually, we use Cordova, not uh, Xamarin. Uh, those are different. Uh, and yeah. Uh, now from there, let's uh, proceed uh, the discussion. So, uh, thinking about which uh, uh, mobile mobile or uh, cross uh, platform technology to choose, we have certain uh, factors to be considered uh, in. I won't discuss about all of them because at this level uh, we don't uh, you do, we don't need to know everything uh, because uh, that is an advanced course and a, a lot of uh, things needed to be con considered. I will keep it short and only discuss those points which I think is necessary for you guys at this moment. Uh, but again, uh, keep asking questions if any doubts. So starting from uh, the ba most basic question, why to choose native app? or why to choose cross-platform app. Native app uh, means which uh, is either written for Android or for iOS or for any particular device for that matter. And cross-platform app is something that you uh, build uh, once and it can run in multiple devices. So uh, first point which is important for you guys is speed or performance I should say. Uh, so if you want something to be high performant and you want to use the uh, hardware capabilities of the device. Uh, for example, if you uh, if you have if your customer is using uh, iOS devices, also then they have certain capabilities which is not available in uh, Android hardware or or any device for that matter. So in in such cases where performance of the application is very important, uh, then you should go for native applications, not hybrid applications, because when you use hybrid application. Uh, it needs to do some sort of conversion from the because you have written same code which is run several uh, in several uh, devices so compilation should be done in this compilation some time is exhausted so if you if performance is an issue because if you are developing some some application in which the time in which it, it gives a result is very critical there are applications like that and it, it can happen if you are uh, using your machine learning mo uh, model using the same device if you are interpreting uh, the model using the same device then performance is an issue otherwise it is fine if you are using a web application or a backend then uh, that is a different issue so the first thing was performance and um, another thing is when hybrid or cross platform Praveen, application is yeah, yes sir. thank you thank you uh, praveen first of all i call, i welcome uh, uh, Ashmita Kumari, she was the leader of the Bebojuti with the breast cancer project. So very good. I actually I tried Ashmita. Good evening. So yeah. Good evening, uh, sir. Good evening. Uh, I what Prabhupada said is correctly. Tell me 
uh, what is our goal basically? Our collective goal is uh, all of uh, all of us. Why we are taking the part of this learning? Have to, we have to be little bit of fame. If everybody want, I think in a good way. So one good way of getting fame is uh, to like uh, like Pradipto have done work on the COVID non COVID from the Pradipto team and work on the COVID from the chest X ray and we suddenly see the IIT joke because they have the IIT brand name. So we have to be noticed first whether the doctors will apply or not. We, to, we first we have to we acknowledge it. then the cross that is the reason the I, I go for the cross platform app because first of all your uh, native app definitely what Pravin says is absolutely correct. But we are not a paid company. We are not from the company. We are actually working our own. So we have to be first uh, project and that will be available everywhere so that people will, so that may be slower and we know uh, our app will not be very critical our app will not be for general uses so that uh, doctors may try and it may be well accepted maybe after three or six months or one year or two years but and we, we should establish our name and we should side by side our research for the deep learning that we have to publish paper that that is not linked with that so we have a double objective one is the what is our research to be published and visibility to the public world? Basically, if it's a if it's a private college, it is very difficult to accept it. Then the cross cross application because nowadays all the whatever you find, the doctors who are very richer, they generally use iOS, they generally Apple phone, they generally use Android. So that is my reason. Go for the cross application. I mean, am I correct? That is the you are also saying. It's basically, we want to be a little bit famous with our working with. Working. Then I think uh, uh, native app. What Pravin said, absolutely correct. But we should go for uh, app so that many of our rich students, rich faculties, or well to do, they all prefer iPhone because a lot of security features and all these things. Pravin, you continue. I, I I agree with you. Absolutely agree with you. I just want to say why we go want to for cross application. One thing is we have to be available anywhere, everywhere. Maybe slower because. Our apps will not be give a binary decision, go for operation or not go for operation, go for caesarean, not go for caesarean baby from the MRI images of say any uh, our mothers. So with or with go for so that's it. Yeah. Maybe you continue. Yeah, please. yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Sir. Yeah, uh, I was coming to the uh, cross platform as well. Uh, so yeah, native iOS enough about now when do we use cross platform application as sir rightly mentioned Pravin, for you can MVCs. go back little bit two three centers because two of three members are very critical members join Ritika Ritika welcome Ritika Ashmita just two three lines back yeah, yeah, yeah sure sure uh, Arunavada I see hi yeah yeah Arunavada uh, Arunava, go, good, good evening yeah. Arunava. thank you for joining you yeah. guys are the main one of the binding factor of our five projects here yeah, thank you Orunabo, are you listening? Orunabo, okay. Orunabo, mute for them. Take Carry on. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I'll just uh, step a bit back. So, yeah, I, what I discussed here uh, till now is uh, basically in, in this meeting, we are discussing which uh, which uh, mobile or cross, uh, cross platform technology or native technology suited when. So, what point I discussed it now, if uh, if you need uh, performance or basic hardware support, uh, then uh, native apps are suitable. Now, basically, I was moving towards cross, cross platform and hybrid apps. So, when you are doing an MVP or an POC, uh, like basically what you guys are doing, uh, basically you have to prove something uh, and it is not something that will go into production immediately. Then, details, proof of concept. We don't use abbreviation because. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, sorry. Force of habit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah so, uh, when you do a proof of concept or uh, or uh, a minimum viable product, uh, which means a small product just to uh, stand out, uh, to show your point or show how your application functions, then these crowd cross-platform applications are suitable or hybrid apps are su suitable because you don't need to uh, write too much code and you are basically not going into production into large scale so yeah for for these purposes uh, these kind of technologies are suited now 
Now, since we have established that we are going to use either cross-platform and hybrid web apps instead of native apps, now I will discuss what is the difference between these two and which two uh, which, uh, to choose. So, I will give one example of each. Uh, so, I am taking, I am talking about two uh, types of cross-platform apps. One is hybrid web apps and one another one is hybrid native. Hybrid native app. Uh, one example would be React Native and Flutter. Hybrid uh, web app, one example would be uh, Cordova or Ionic. Uh, so these are two examples for that matter. Uh, anyways, uh, so what is the difference between these two? Uh, in hybrid web app, what happens is whatever you write, you use these open source technology, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And in hybrid native app, you use some other uh, language, sometimes it is uh, JavaScript. If you are using React Native, it is JavaScript. If you are using Flutter, it is Dart. So this is one difference. The next difference is, which is a bit faster. Uh, hybrid Native is a bit faster because you are getting some performance. Uh, performance is a bit closer to the uh, native application uh, because in hybrid web apps, how it runs is you write, write code similar to what you uh, write in web application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. While runtime, there's a web view. Uh, I think it is called WebKit view uh, in iOS. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, general concept is web view. Uh, everything written in HTML, CSS, JavaScript is compiled and converted into uh, some intermediate language and that runs in the web view of that specific platform whether it is iOS and Android and uh, in uh, in hybrid native app a native uh, compiled intermediate code is generated and that code is then run into the uh, into the device so here one uh, advantage and disadvantage I would give in one advantage of uh, hybrid native like flutter and react native over uh, hybrid web is performance uh, yeah, although it is not as good as uh, native but better than hybrid web and one advantage of uh, hybrid web app like uh, cordova or ionic is uh, you have html css javascript which is very common language even web developers know so you don't have to learn much uh, yeah so the, these are the two uh, things that you have to consider in mind uh, then I'll leave it to you which to choose uh, anything is fine uh, now uh, based on this uh, we can decide next you can choose any if you are uh, going to choose a hybrid web app um, then yeah Cordova is a choice uh, or because it has uh, it, it has large support it is a very old language so if you get any error you can easily find on google and an improvement over cordova is ionic and if you are going for a hybrid native uh, you can choose either react or uh, or this uh, flutter flutter is backed by google react is backed by facebook uh, both are good react is a bit old you will get support there uh, flutter is uh, new but yeah it is a bit uh, pretty famous and uh, there's a lot of support now at least and uh, you have uh, web components also there. In React also you have web components. You can go for any of these. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, it is depending uh, depending on you. Although if you know React JS yes, already, then React Native is choice. Otherwise, Flutter is good. Uh, so yeah, that's what all I have to say. Uh, the end choice is fine. Be depending on your use case. Yeah, back to you, sir, or anybody if any uh, has having any questions. Yes, uh, just to moderate. What I say, we welcome different things. Will not force you. What Praveen has said it that it is not uh, uh, fix it and everywhere and all. But uh, I personally uh, have little hesitation regarding Facebook product because you know the Facebook has some issues. But I am using Gmail from 2004. It is working perfectly. Uh, 2004 to 2022. So we can trust Google, and Google will always come up and always free. Google is never generally goes any. It will make it price so Google. Then I have some priced components like I have a email with 100 GB support. Praveen used. I think Devojit is also used. So Google I invest. So so that is my little bit favorite Flutter. So it is a strong learning curve. So 
if you go for flutter and dart but it is up to you and uh, now i request uh, devanjyoti for his comments then i'll go uh, be ready pradipto and then uh, others also. yes devanjyoti devanjyoti are you uh, yeah yeah you make your camera on uh, no sir <laughs> okay okay yeah. okay so no, you are wearing uh, everything short and all <laughs> okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If anybody, yes, if anybody wants speaking with camera, that will be nice. In next speakers, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, Pravinda has already uh, pointed out the main factors that I was also uh, going to talk about. I will be, uh, I will make it a little more easy. I will explain like uh, what are uh, the things that you need to concern about uh, before going to uh, this cross-platform cross technologies. So, uh, if you are going to uh, Flutter, as Pravinda mentioned. Then uh, first of all, you need to learn one language. Let's start, as uh, as you will, uh, heard about. So uh, Dart is uh, not exactly same as Java, but uh, similarities are there. As uh, it's almost same, but you have to learn different uh, methods and techniques uh, about the language first. Then you have to go with the technology flutter. But uh, if you go to uh, React Native, uh, it's it's JSX, uh, JavaScript extensions. And so it will be very much, uh, pretty much similar to JavaScript with some native components that you, that you need to learn also. Uh, but uh, if you go uh, uh, as some old technology, like um, if you just uh, go to HTML, CSS, and with some backend with uh, Node.js or um, Django or Flask, then uh, I guess it will be easy for you. Uh, but uh, uh, nowadays what happens is if you are using newer technologies, then uh, it attracts uh, more user or the audiences. Uh, but uh, keeping that apart, if you ask me, what will be the easiest uh, way to show off or to showcase your application? Uh, then I will suggest uh, you can go with Node.js or uh, Flask. I also prefer Flask because uh, it's uh, Actually, you, you guys are also using Python or learn have some subjects in Python. So, Flask is just uh, a framework over Python. So, it will make it easy for you guys to uh, learn and develop. It will be very easy for that, for backend purpose. And also, you will be integrating HTML, CSS to the Flutter uh, web app. Sorry, uh, not Flutter, it's Flask. <laughs> That's confusing. So, uh, you will be integrating HTML, CSS with Flask. One way is there. Otherwise, if you use Angular as I mentioned, then you need to uh, do what is uh, you need to create some API or socket to communicate between uh, backend and frontend, and you will you will be using Angular. But uh, before going to Angular, Angular also having a hard card because uh, Angular uh, we need we need to write uh, TypeScript languages in Angular. Angular doesn't uh, Angular TypeScript is what uh, TypeScript is superset of JavaScript. So in TypeScript, um, all JavaScripts are TypeScript, but all TypeScripts are not JavaScript. So that means you need to also learn fast TypeScript. Then you can go with Angular. So that is also um, longer task. So better I will prefer uh, if we need just an web app, I will go to uh, Flask or Node.js backend and uh, frontend I will be integrating with uh, the server. Uh, Okay, sir. And uh, if uh, if you guys are going to create some Android app or iOS app, then obviously uh, my choice is also will be Flutter uh, because uh, Flutter is now a cross-platform. Like uh, for Android, you will be writing code once, and you do not have to modify much. Uh, so you can be building uh, Android, iOS, as well as for, uh, the same code will run for web apps. And nowadays, uh, Flutter came uh, come with um, Windows and Linux app support, Mac OS app support. So it is uh, much versatile nowadays. So uh, you will be thinking like, uh, what you can do, what will you need to choose? I have talked almost all about it. And Pravinda also mentioned the uh, pros and cons of different uh, technologies that you can choose. Okay, sir. Thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, what what I summarize from Praveen's talk and Devachandra's talk, we we'll right now go for proven technology that everybody have some Flask. He is correct and Flask uh, uh, Python uh, Flask has a framework, Node.js, because from the our 2000 successful hackathon projects to Praveen projects, Devachandra's projects, we are all at Cordova. So this is a proven technology and we have worked on it. They have they can help you. And Flutter, we can keep it for future. Say that you can start learning Flutter, and and but I want to say avoid React right now because React from Facebook and all. So I agree perfectly agree with Praveen and Devachuti that uh, we should main go for our pro getting data main our deep learning project more. So the, our 75 percent effort, 80 percent effort would be there, and next 20 percent effort. To we can web app and Android app firstly, but we try to learn for Flutter because of Flutter is one way Praveen and Devachuti, in fact Praveen Kumar has, uh, I earlier go for Kotlin, probably you know, but right now after talking with several people that Praveen has already told her Flutter, so Flutter definitely will follow, if we can, if you can, then very good, otherwise we go for uh, uh, Python, Flask and uh, Node.js framework. Okay, okay. Devachati, please talk. Yeah, yeah uh, one thing I uh, forgot to mention is that like, if you choose uh, some different framework uh, other than uh, Python based, like uh, other than Java or Flask, then you, you will need to learn also Flask because um, in your uh, code, like you will be exporting some um, some model, okay, some model uh, data will be exporting uh, to validate the if some uh, to cluster or classify some images, you need to export the model after uh, running it. So uh, after exporting, you need to import that in uh, some web app or some kind of backend. So because uh, Fl uh, Flutter or if you talk about uh, Node.js apps, uh, this TensorFlow uh, data uh, importing that to their uh, to that technology is something hard. So you can do what you can uh, just use. Flask and uh, as Flask is Python based, you can directly import TensorFlow and the, you can uh, also import the model that is exported and you can open some API or some socket uh, for backend communication and you can you can go for app or web app uh, with um, with uh, Flutter or React or anything. Okay, so if you also if you choose Flutter also, then also you need to uh, take care uh, take care about the backend service that. Uh, for the answer flow thing. Great. So, uh, I, what I summarize that if we do, if you chosen that, because I do, I know a little bit of there's a Flask and, and Node.js and all. They are different, different components. Node.js is basically nothing but a server, uh, like an exchange server. Uh, so, uh, my question is to Praveen and Devachuti. If we, the student groups works with the Flask and basic javascript and uh, html and all and flux and maybe one javascript engine recommended by you may not might not be react because then later on they can go to flutter so flutter will be a deferred choice maybe after one or one month or two months so that all the waste effort would not be wasted so that they can be exported Praveen, any any idea about it so we have now decided for android app will be develop, uh, will be decided after 50 days or one month now we focused on web app and that will be the Flask uh, and the Python, Flask, Node.js and JavaScript. Uh, Praveen, you, your idea then we decide about the uh, Flutter and uh, Google Frontend, uh, I just know what is the name. So that is we may decide maybe after one month we see the learning curve. Yes, Praveen, your idea please. Yeah, sure. I mean, we can uh, do that. You can, uh, you guys can build a web app first because anyways uh, flutter has although web support uh, but it is a bit new and uh, uh, like uh, new uh, how stable it is and uh, uh, th there won't be as support in the uh, community developer community for it uh, for new products uh, uh, so yeah for now you can uh, anyways as I mentioned this is a proof of concept and web app should be the primary focus I guess because uh, your uh, stakeholders are also doctors who uh, have access to 
uh, computers and uh, usually they would prefer seeing this image in uh, a laptop or desktop screen rather than a small screen like phones. Uh, so web app applications uh, I guess is more suitable in this use case and for uh, if, if you want to initially go for web app and then extend it for other uh, other platforms mobile using Flutter that is also a fine I guess. So yeah, uh, your approach is fine, sir. Thank you. Now I'll come to uh, somebody, Pradeep. I'll come to Pradeep first. So again, uh, what you have discussed that we go for traditional ways, so that what we are experienced that Pravinda and Devachuti they can help helps and Ritika also. So uh, front end uh, web app first, and then we can decide about the Flutter because Pravinda has recommended Flutter long back, uh, six months back. Uh, I also see the Flutter is okay, so we start learning Flutter, but uh, we'll see it later. We were first. Now, Pradeep, please come talk. Pradeep, are you there? Yeah. Yes, sir. So actually, uh, sir, what I was telling, uh, yeah, Flask is all right, but uh, for this machine learning and deep learning models, there is something called Streamlit. I I have used Streamlit, and Streamlit is. Uh, uh, like a magic, it works like a magic. So we can easily develop any web applications using Streamlit very easily. Uh, within just the Python script, we can uh, import Streamlit the module and then we can write some uh, extra lines and the web app will be responsive and it will uh, it will have all the functionalities. So uh, actually, if, uh, the first of all, this this is the first point that I want to mention. And the second thing is, uh, pra Pravinda, the Bhutchayda and, and everyone, please, uh, can you please guide uh, for uh, how actually we can develop the Android application using TF Lite or TensorFlow Lite? I heard something about that. So how exactly we can uh, do that? Uh, the web application part, that is, uh, uh, I think that I will be able to handle. But I also want to know about the Android development part, exactly in Android Studio. So uh, is there any way that the machine learning model can be can be imported directly in the Android Studio. I heard something about TF Lite, but I need a proper guidance. Yeah, and sir, yeah. uh, okay. uh, one more thing that you told the batch batch mode, mini batch mode, and the stochastic. So I also need a little bit guidance in, in this thing. I, I I have no clear idea about that. So it will be really helpful if you uh, tell in details that what are this. In, in detail a little bit. Yeah, I first introduced Pradeep to, he is, he is basically steering his team with the uh, uh, COVID analysis of the chest text text images, uh, very good and incidentally same time Stipulite IIT Jodhpur also published a paper. So I will request Pradeep to focus, get, get your machine learning project with more data. So 286 data they have got it, we can now try to get more data set. and. Uh, another thing I must say, what Spudita has said, we should not cover our everything that we should not do anything else. Yes, you are welcome. This is the main discussion that is, if uh, you are uh, going for any other, definitely you should go for it. You don't have to say, but this is the one standard way that we have worked, but Spudita's thing was correct. And uh, Okay, uh, your comments, Devachuti, Praveen, uh, what Spudita said. Regarding Spudita's last comment, that is I have told you, your, our machine learning projects everywhere we have done it is supervised medical imaging classification, but it is anywhere startup because whenever it will be on a web app, that will be always a learned model. So incremental learning must be there. Whenever the doctors put an image, it will be automatically learned from the image for single image, a stochastic. I say the stochastic mode. Stochastic, you know, I just one is batch mode. So we get all the data and learn from this, it is slower. But that is uh, error rate comes very smoothly. Uh, but after it is on, then if you put a single image, you can your packet should learn from it. Then it is a stochastic gradient errorless. Uh, stochastic gradient. Another is mini batch. I I do not recommend mini batch because uh, we have don't have enough images like 10 million images or image net. So we forget about mini batch. First it will be batch mode. Then we will uh, learn by one image at a time or maybe mini batch if you got another set of images for this. Yes. So, uh, yes. Thank you. Anybody else can talk and raise your hands and you can discuss. I, yes, please. Uh, 
okay sir uh, about the android application development uh, i need a little bit guide so yeah pradeep to today yeah. after today's talk what do you feel the android app uh, i i what i, I know i has still now have very good basics of the android app i have found in 2017 with the force team has developed an android app excellent i think pravin has also seen and everybody has to see the screenshot i have seen that that particularly app is working on uh, the mobile phone but it is why it, why it is not working because we have to take a buy out service from google that is pretty costly so that is the reason uh, software but we have the package and everything so it is everything possible as the android app with uh, with flask framework and uh, what pravin has said google pravin has actually worked on that project at the last day so that is no issue android app uh, we will not focus right now our first focus is web app but devachuti told pravin said at web app everybody is there to help you devachuti pravin everybody is there web app then android app uh, probably my idea is as pravin idea is flutter so then we can decide later okay we we'll start learning flutter so maybe the flow whatever the flutter with everything can be done but flutter is a steep way to learn angular also but what is proven is the google technology it is there not like not like in others okay anybody can uh, nisha do you want to speak something or anybody else uh, i would uh, like to answer pradeepto's question he has yeah yeah, yeah please please for that yeah uh, yeah so so uh you mentioned uh ts light uh that is uh android an android library uh ts light is available uh you uh but the question is do you want to do on device training uh i guess this library is also available for flutter uh i'm not sure because i haven't used this library on flutter but uh, yeah i since it is a google based library so it i, I guess it would be available by now but again the question is do you want to do on device uh, training or inferencing which i would not suggest uh, because why would you use uh, a device uh, uh, like android uh, or ios uh, the, you don't know what the capabilities of your devices are and, and primarily the devices that we have generally in uh, india are not very uh, very not having very good hardware support uh, 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 like uh, although it it again depends on your stakeholders they might have high end devices and um, iphones but uh, yeah. yeah so what i suggest is instead of doing on device uh, machine learning inference or training you do this in your back end and use apis to get the results uh, that would be much faster and much easier as well uh, the same um, Uh, the same method was done in that app as well which replic the build that uh, cordova app the results were fetched by the same back end model for uh, both uh, web and android applications uh, this also helps you in reusing the uh, business logic and also you are not dependent on the capabilities of the hardware uh, if uh, a device does not uh, support good Uh, hard uh, does not have good hardware uh, capabilities the results of your model won't be uh, that great uh, so it's better to take that logic and take that implementation on your back end instead of your client side uh yeah actually uh, uh, i mean uh, what happened is that uh, this order is uh, i have planned with uh, anyone coming pradeep to you can you make your speaker bit less uh, Okay. One concept the Pravin has said, I I like it. Uh, this is I actually miss. That's a proof of concept. So we are not making. First, remember, we are not making a like a uh, sponsored development because uh, so even the web app and all these things, I'll spare my money. But you know, it could be thousand, not in ten thousands or something like that. So it is a basically nobody is sponsoring us. So, uh, but by making this app, we can get sponsors. So that will be our next. Year. So we first focus on proof of concept. What Pravin has said, and generally the doctors are rich; they have money. But uh, sometimes they don't. 
they are project they are uh, phones will not be that uh, good one okay they let let her make sir this model uh, this model is not only designed for the doctors but also for the common people the all all the people they no, will be able to upload it very carefully the doctors because there will be lot of things. even doctors will object if you say it for common people so our app should be for the doctors actually the thing is that when uh, anyone uh, will be uh, anyone will be suspected as covid positive they they can uh, basically uh, do an x ray and then they can simply upload the x ray image to the application and the api will fetch the details and that will so okay. Uh, the people that whether this person is uh, having covid positive or not or pneumonia or not and that is uh, obviously that is not 100% true but that, uh, it can predict up to certain percentage then the person can get proper treatment on or they, then he or she can uh, apply uh, for the other tests that are costly or uh, can take medicines if in that area that is not available the proper things are Yes, so the is very good. Just also for okay. fetching the data because the model is already trained, and then we can just uh, if, if using the model we can we will analyze the image using the API, and then we can uh, if something can be done like that. Yeah, I think the what Pratik has said even I I'll for the Pratik to Steve and other teams also that we should also use other features like now in Pratik to's case the COVID will not stay maybe one year or two years, so we should also think. Other than uh, tuberculosis, other lungs related uh, classifications like tuberculosis, other pneumonia. Uh, yeah, pneumonia. These, are, these are the main things. Yeah, and same for heart. So, you try to move for various types of diseases for heart. And another thing is, we have taken image as only one feature, but later on we have to take age, uh, male or female, with other uh, prescription details of doctors so that whenever we get a decision, image is only one feature and other features will be inputted by prescriptions of the doctors at uh, like your age uh, sex and patient age age sex and other uh, like uh, other problems of the, then our package will be better so we should think about that machine learning project okay uh, very good anyone else please talk i think somebody from heart division can talk nisha can you are you there Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, sir, actually, uh, Pradipto and I uh, had a discussion, and uh, he already asked the questions that we all discussed. So. Okay. Okay, Nisha. So please listen. Anybody else? Do you have any questions? So, yeah. Are you three? You have any questions? Are you three? Deepika, Shohel, all. You can. So uh, I will summarize what you have discussed and. and uh, please pradipto has uh, raised lot of issues so pradipto you go ahead with stimulate i think uh, pravin any uh, i think you have answered to this questions so device based learning later on maybe after some time uh, device based learning when the matter but ultimately that will be the pravin ultimately that will be the one good thing that you can make your stamp that devices because back end based learning the problem is you have to hire anyway these are also you have to hire a space from google and all in any case so we'll first trust google and everything is google technology so that i have some uh, resources with paid resources account from google uh, pravin has used it so we can go for uh, investing in google and uh, like this yes so first of all we have to be a little bit proud whatever we did so our work should be published as a paper and as quickly as web app and quickly and app cross platform app that is the reason we are targeting flutter so everybody i request in our project teams to learn as a flutter as a just educational thing develop another thing yes please anyone pradipto anything else devojyoti yes sir uh, th uh, that's why also one thing i was telling that yeah. uh, rather than flask can be used streamly Because, uh, I hey, feel most of the time. We are not absolutely don't have to use flask. Flask is maybe for the ECG team. They have not decided yet. So you go ahead with your new things. Okay, I I am not obstructing anything. But you should go for your first target should be uh, compare with your result with IIT uh, Jodhpur. 
so that is the first target you should score over there so your model or fine tuning of the model and all these get the data set that is the main what your project handicap is your data set please look into this data set from stanford or anyone you can teach your data set and you make the data set and make it every time you don't have to start so make it so that you can implement mini batch mode you can so we have not go for stochastic gradient stochastic gradient what prevalence is currently whenever it will be on your like your learning project on your mobile phone itself so forget about right now we go for batch gradient and mini batch gradient so that you can incrementally uh, enrich your intent your project am i correct so you have to get more data that is the fun and you go ahead with the stuff like you don't have to go this thing okay so two two teams have not to be uh, same uh, you can differ okay that's it project i think yeah yes sir and uh, answer one thing uh, pravinda you you were telling something about the tf light so uh if not in this project but in any other project uh, exactly can you guide me that how exactly we can uh, implement the tensorflow model of the machine learning model in our, in our android application uh yeah uh, basically you uh, have a tensor uh, uh, the way you develop your tensorflow uh, library in python uh, the way you use in python right to develop a model uh, there's another library called tf uh, light or if you have a tf uh, model you can convert it into tf light model they are there are uh, open git uh, projects that you'll find for that conversion once that model is achieved you can leverage that uh, using uh, in both android and flutter i i believe it is there and you can as well i guess uh, firebase has um, out of the box hosted support for tf light model so that uh, that i'm not very sure about you have to look into that uh, but yeah uh, once that model is uh, you have that uh, tf light model generated then you just have to use that uh, uh, corresponding uh, tf light libraries uh, available in both the platforms so there's that uh, Oh, okay. 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 Very um, good. I think we are now in the closing five minutes. So uh, very good. Uh, thank you, Praveen and Pradeep. So I think our vision is clear. Any question? Remaining question? Please ask. Anyone? Okay. Very good. Can you make your camera on for once, or if it's possible, then we can have a presence. Okay. Another thing is, Oriya uh, Sri, Deepika, Shohel, Tushar. Uh, please focus on flutter as a as an additional things because that end we have to be we are weak already i think pradeep uh, and the others have already developed in machine learning let them go ahead you also join and then you open up the where we are weak our weak is and uh, cross platform and what do you see your question thank you everyone okay very good thank you thank you everyone bye Bye. 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 Bye.